Good afternoon, everybody. Today, not how we planned. It's just before six. I'm just ending work, and I have to do work later. And it's supposed to storm, I guess, tonight. And our original plans that we had got shifted because of the potential storms, because we shouldn't really be out. Plus, I don't think he needs to be out in thunderstorms. But it looks beautiful out right now, and it feels beautiful out right now. And we haven't cooked dinner yet, because it's been a crazy day. So, follow along this vlog if you want to see what becomes of the night. Well, you're not gonna make any cute noises because the camera's on you. Tonight we are having fried rice from leftover Hawaiian veggies. We also have um, buffalo cauliflower. All right, um, considering it's already 7.30, we just finished dinner. We're gonna try this, this little contraption and see if, how James is feeling. We never showed it on the vlog yesterday. <laughs> You got him good, right? Thoughts? I guess you should put it lower. I feel like if you put it one lower, it'd be too low. Because his toes are supposed to touch, but the heels and balls of his feet are not. So I feel like if I went one more link low. He's a big old kid. Okay. Learning how to use his feet. Yeah, yeah. His feet. Yeah, yeah. He came over concerned, but it's not laying. I moved him down one more, but that's too, he's too short now. Like it's now, he's too close to the ground. He's not supposed to have that much feet. Is that fun? Kinda? You don't seem upset. You don't seem thrilled at all, though. But you look like a really old man now. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is parental workouts. Oh dear. Do some deep lunges. Oh, oh dear! <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you gonna swim hey. a little bit? He's 12 pounds. <gasps> wow, Jamesy! He's so sweet. You think my bun is funny? I go and tickle you with it. Go and tickle you with it. Oh gosh. I don't know if we've said it or not, but Jamesy boy is entering like a big developmental stage. He's between three and four months. So he has been my BFF all day. We got him a new winter hat. Guess what? We all got him, match him, except for Eve. But we're gonna dye her hair this color, so. No, yeah. So, Dad's got the hat, Baby's got a hat, and Mama's got a hat, and we're ready for the river to be dyed green, if that is even happening. I know the parade's not. None of the parades are. I was really hoping that we'd get back to Chicago, kick it off with some good old-fashioned Chicago St. Patrick's Day fun, but parades got canceled again, which is understandable. Doesn't mean we couldn't have hoped for it. But I think, did you, didn't you say you heard that they're still doing the river? Yeah, I heard that from an unreliable resource. I'm going to Google it. We're packing up bathrooms. Sarah. Ah, I don't know if this is right. Sarah might have the ring sling set up in an excitingly, oh my gosh, this might be a game changer. <laughs> Eve just attack. ripped out a parse, a, a parse, a piece of my bread out of my hand. Don't ask me why I'm eating a piece of bread like this either. <laughs> You guys are comfy, you look like Prison Mike. <laughs> oh gosh, he loves to <laughs> chew. <laughs> I put a little button in, so this is a look. But um, I know this is imperfect. I just like threw him in, like I'm gonna try and situate it. But this could be nice if he likes it. Um, 
have you guys ever noticed that I sometimes have like a ring of spit? That's so gross. This is a confession. On my shirt, like you can see, well, I have a nervous habit of chewing my clothes and my sleeves. Comment below because I know it's not that uncommon, but when you say it out loud, it's a little embarrassing, but it's true. I've always done it. Um, don't mind his little shirt drying. So yeah, it's funny because he right now has been in this like chewing phase, his hands, the top of his um, shirts like me and the carrier. And so it's funny that like I put him in this carrier and he automatically went to chew it. What do you think? Should we, get, should we get this situated, right? Someone's been kind of fighting it all day long, but finally gave up. Also, we have one, two, three more boxes packed. I'm going to start measuring this out. I'm getting nervous. The 20 footer isn't going to be enough. We started watching this Bobby and Giada show. It just kind of rolled in after we were watching Amy Schumer Learns to Cook on Discovery+. Plus. Um, beautiful, and the food looks delicious. And I, uh, fortunately, am working right now, and it's... What time is it? It's 11 o'clock, but I promised um, some departments in my office, in my company, that I'd have I'd have my deliverables by start of day tomorrow, so. Watching a cooking show at this time is always terrible because it's always like right around the time where you should have another meal. Most people sleep at this time, um, but we stay awake and, and get hungry. And we've got the perfect bread to dunk in some olive oil. Yeah, but I'll definitely wake up the pup. It might, it. it might what be worth it. It might be worth it. It might be worth it. No. 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 Woke up. Mama. Roped him back in. Look at him crazy. It's just child. a dream. He's got fuzz on his head. He's got... I've been trying to show you guys the little bump he had. Um, it's... I, I don't know if it can be seen on a camera now. I mean, you never noticed it before. It's right here. Oh, oh, I put the fuzz somewhere else. Guys, I'm so hot. We're watching more delicious Italian food. It's like... Pizza Ponte. And we were supposed to go to the hideaway tonight with Katie and Brian. Yeah. Katie has not met James yet. And we were like, let's have our last little night together at the place we met. Yeah. So I'm so mad, and it never really, it rained, but not as bad as we thought it was going to. But I have to work anyway. Yeah, it, yeah. that ended up, you know, that happened anyways, but hopefully rescheduling works out for later next week. Yeah. Hey, it's 12.30 in the morning and we have lost it. I'm about to go get a bowl of olive oil, put some salt and pepper in it, and get this bread we have. So I think we're going to have our bee bads too. Which is actually fine for Sarah because she still has two be bads. Oh, you had one today? But Friday is Red Bull Day. Look at this baby. Look at this baby zonked out. Zonk City. I'm in dreamland with him like this. Well, get ready for olive oil land. If this isn't the perfect literal midnight snack, I don't know what is. Clean plate club, always. Always. So good, but so simple. Just put salt and pepper in your olive oil, dip some bread in it, and tell us what you think of it. Oh gosh, we have a scavenger on the loose. Something very bad just happened. Oh, that is the truth. That is so unfortunate. Like the most unfortunate in a long, long time. All right, the second Thursday here, which is the twelfth, the two classic Abraham Lincoln, and in the end, it's not the years in your life that count; it's the life in your years. Well, we 
can all sleep on the couch and now it is 4.30. I almost started to cry when we all woke up. So I'm um, going to try to get some good quality shut eye in our room rather than the couch um, for a few hours. Big weekend, three day weekend. We're doing um, non Disney stuff. We're doing Disney stuff. We're meeting up with um, Chelsea and Cole tomorrow or later today, I should say. Um, this is weird because it's like, in a way, it's like the last weekend because the following weekend is our last weekend. So it's like this is the last weekend of like normal if you can call it that so that just hit me hit me strong it's good to be home We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>